Hello Taurus, welcome back to the Lynx Tarot. My name is Monica and this reading is for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. As usual, we are covering money, career and any spirit messages that want to come through. And this is for March into April 2023 or the next 30 days. All of my readings are timeless, so this is for whenever you are watching. Okay, it says the Angel Wisdom Tarot. Very nice. You've got the Three of Fire or the Three of Wands starting to see some results from your efforts. And this also represents Archangel Michael. Planning for the long term. Abundance from past choices. I like that a lot. Pride in the success of your labors. Be patient as you decide what's next. It's your choice what's next, Taurus. Okay, so as you start to see these results, as you start to see changes that are a result of something that you have started, You'll have more choices to make and it's up to you, which is really exciting. And I feel like there's a lighter energy than you've been feeling for a while. Taurus here, it's excitement. Very nice, okay. So let's jump over here to the energy oracle cards. Then we'll go into some more tarot and we'll end with some angel cards. All right, what else do we have for Taurus? Remember to check your other signs as usual. There could be additional messages there for you. What else does Taurus need to know? Okay, we have walking away. Yeah, so this is going to require that you walk away from something. It could be a worry, an obsession, something that you thought you wanted, but maybe you don't want anymore. And it's time to realize that you need to walk away from it so that you can walk toward what really um, will work or something else that you might want now that you didn't realize before, but it's going to require walking away from something. We will go deeper too. Okay, we have financial constraints. So hopefully many of you listening are walking away from financial constraints. Hopefully many of you are filling that cupboard with money, goods, savings, um, things that you want and need, um, gifts for yourself that you can now afford. Okay, again, it's going to require walking away from something. And I think for, for some of you, it's um, an idea or something that you, you thought for a while that you wanted. And you're starting to realize there's something else that you want. And it's time to kind of change your thinking, change your strategy. And here, this is leading to happy family. So whether you're partnered or not, this is happiness in your life, in your surroundings, in your work, um, with your pets, happy family, happy connections with others. Okay, so let's go over here to the Everyday Witch and see what else we have for you. Lots of peace and contentment, that happy family card. So if there are financial worries, I feel like those worries are going to be relieved very soon because the happy family card is like a very uplifting energy. All right. So let's clarify here. <clears throat> Financial, I'm sorry, walking away is being clarified by the eight of pentacles. So for many of you, this is something in work. You're walking away from something that you thought you wanted. It might be a job. Maybe you're going on to a different job, a different workplace, or um, a different career altogether. Some of you are starting your own business. Maybe you're crafting, creating something like the witch on this card is, like she's making different potions or I don't know what, um, but creating something um, on your own. So that's for some of you, not all of you. And for some of you, maybe you've been working on a side business or something and you're at the point now where you're making money and it's going to require that you walk away from your day job. So this is for some of you, not all of you, but it's about a choice and you're going to have that choice if you don't already. Financial constraints, here we go, is being clarified by the chariot. So there could be a cancer that you're dealing with, but not necessarily. Um, this is about that choice, okay? The chariot, it's about making a strong mental decision to go in a certain direction. It's like you're not gonna have both things because 
it would take too much of your energy and then nothing would really be very successful. So it's a choice of like one thing or the other that you're getting ready to make and then you're going to take off and this is going to help you financially. Happy family, beautiful is being clarified by the Queen of Cups. This could represent you um, or someone that you're close with, someone in your family or someone you deal with on a regular basis. And um, this is a very nurturing, loving, intuitive energy. So this could represent that person. And if you haven't been feeling much of this energy in your life, I feel like it's going to change. It's gonna change and you're gonna um, either come across someone who um, has these qualities that like nurturing, um, intuitive, comforting energy or you're going to find it within yourself Taurus and it's always been there it's just that something has been making you feel edgy for some reason okay but change is happening here and it's because of what you've worked really hard on you've been working hard on this achievement all right oh, got that didn't count this one did okay here we go so walking away and the eight of pentacles is being clarified by the wheel of fortune so this is a positive change change for the better there's better money coming in things are flowing there's way better flow here so you're making a really strong decision here and you're going to feel really good once you do you're going to feel confident and i feel like you are going to want to share what you're doing with others because you're proud all right let's clarify further here all right, financial constraints with the chariot is being clarified by the five of pentacles. So this could also signify financial constraints, but the good news is that this building here, this house or church, or it's like, I think it's a church in the traditional tarot, um, it's signifying help. There's financial help, financial assistance. It could be coming from somebody else or something that you figure out on your own. So finances are better. It's a money card. So it's not that it has to be lacking. You may be seeing finances as lacking, but there's an answer here and you're going to find it with this chariot energy. You're going to make a decision. Okay, and you're going to find this financial freedom because the chariot also represents freedom. Okay, so you're coming out of those constraints here. You're finding the assistance, whether it's coming from outside sources or an idea that you have. You're going to make this decision and, and then just really take off with it. The queen, I'm sorry, the happy family queen of cups is being clarified by six of pentacles. Yeah, here's a balance in finances, having everything that you need, um, being paid for what you do. So if you have been... Um, starting a business, doing something that you love, like creatively, that type of thing. Um, this is signifying the business end of it to me right now. Like you're learning the business end or you are, um, you're spending more time on the business end of your business. Okay. So like you're doing something creative, but you're balancing that out with the business end of it. And that's why you are making money or you're about to start making really good money. So I like that a lot for you. Um, so happy family queen of cups and the six of pentacles so if this has to do with a family situation um, maybe one of you in the household is starting to make more money now than you had before so it's helping your household finances and it's bringing in a calm a new calm there's excitement here though because look with the three of wands change and we have that with the wheel of fortune too there's positive change here it's exciting um seeing things grow seeing things move seeing things progress okay and this is long term so this is abundance coming from past choices as the card says so it's coming your way you're going to start to see these results manifest around the next 30 days or between now and 30 days from now all right, so this is the Whispers of Love deck. What else for Taurus? What else? Okay, rest and relaxation is essential. We all have a fundamental need to take a break. Or take, yes, let's take a break. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be time for you to take a break. Maybe it is right now, Taurus. I think some of you are feeling tired and unproductive but you're not unproductive you're just tired so it's time to take a break um maybe a change of scenery whoops even if it's just a walk i walk all the time and that's right here with walking away too so maybe a walk would do you some good or doing that on a regular basis 
we have do do something for someone give your attention to another on this card this woman is taking care of animals so maybe it would make you feel good to spend time with animals okay and it would definitely be good for the animals so um, that's that's a really good form of reciprocity there and we have the only thing that is real is love don't forget about self-love shift your focus back to love so what do you love what do you feel in your heart what means the most to you what do you love to do um, we can't always make money right now in the moment doing what we love Sometimes we just need to, to make money and have stability, but it is, it is important in other areas of our lives to um, you know do what we love in our heart, whether it's a hobby or like I was just talking about taking a walk or whatever you like to do. And that might not sound like that big of a deal, but it's a big deal to me. It's something that I need to do every single day. Um, so somebody listening, that might be a thing for you too, but whatever means the most to you, um, you know, it could be something that you used to do in younger years that it's time to reconnect with, okay? And I'm picturing painting, okay? Like acrylic painting um, or oil painting. It can be anything. It can be anything. It can be painting a house, but I feel like doing something with your hands where you see immediate results is going to really help build this energy for you. All right, Taurus, love these messages. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you again soon.